I'm gonna try something new this time. I'm gonna do like a tech report slash information about current technology. Uh, this is pretty much primarily Intel, Dell, IBM, EMC. They're like getting together to collaborate like a PCI Express based solid state hard drive standard, which can be pretty important. Um, so pretty much here's some pros and cons of solid state hard drives as we have them right now. Right now, no moving parts is like the pretty much biggest thing a solid state hard drive offers because there are no moving parts you don't have to wait for the, the spindle and the hard drives like move around and find the information which results in consistent speed because the data can just be accessed at the same time you don't have to wait for the spindle to go around less latency shock resistant for hard drives if like it falls on the ground or something the spindle if it's moving could potentially scratch the disk which is not really good because you lose files, corrupt stuff, all that fun and enjoyable stuff you really don't want to happen. It's also quieter. There's also some cons. Life expectancy, if you just leave, take a solid hard drive and just leave it uh, over a span of a few years, you look pretty much the data is stored as like in electricity in different cells in the solid hard drive. So over time, the electricity will kind of leach out. And so you will lose the data if you let it sit for long enough without using it. But when you turn it on, uh, electricity is applied to all the different cells, so it will. If you use it every so often, it will be okay. Another problem, though, is life expectancy. There's only a certain amount of read writes you can do before it goes bad, and then that's kind of bad. So to do this, they try to space out the reading and writing across the entire drive. So different sectors won't go bad at least it'll, um, it'll level the wearing across the entire drive so it'll last longer but this also creates security problems where you really can't control you really can't con encrypt information and when you the, when you like try to overwrite a file which we presently do in hard drives you really can't do it because it just moves the file to a different location so if you try to like wipe a hard drive it's a little bit more annoying one big thing that we're seeing now is we're seeing PCI Express based solid state hard drives versus the serial based solid state hard drives. What this basically means is you can do up to 16 gigabytes per second, whereas the normal serial can only do like 6 gigabytes per second. So it's a significant increase in speed. Here's two pictures of some solid state hard drives. As you can see, they're, they're pretty different, and these are both PCI Express based. They're pretty different. Instead of like you have a serial cable and connecting it to the motherboard you just like put in a little slot kind of like a graphics card and here's a picture of the motherboard this is the reason why solid CR drives PCI Express based are better than normal serial ones um, here's the CPU in a, in a motherboard pretty much you can think of the fastest parts in the motherboard are always closest to the CPU see so yeah, the CPU is closest to the north bridge and the north bridge is connected to the south bridge North Bridge, you have the uh, AGP, PCI Express, and memory are connected to that. So the memory and the PCI Express are the two fastest things on the computer. And that's why they take graphics cards and they put them right here because they can communicate with the CPU pretty quickly. And if we take hard drives, solid state hard drives, and we put them in this PCI Express, they can communicate with the CPU a lot easier than a normal hard drive using the serial port. Also, the serial port really wasn't designed for solid state in mind. So that's kind of why, uh, like Intel and EMC and Dell, they're all like they're all collaborating to ensure that this new PCI Express-based um, standard is going to be working pretty good for solid state. This is obviously my first tech talk. So if anyone has any suggestions, do you think I should continue doing more like presentations on current and future technology, or give like more information on like processors, graphics cards, stuff like that? Just just let me know. Uh, I may or may not do more of these if you guys like them, then I will certainly continue. There's a lot of interesting news articles that if I tell you guys about them, you probably think they're kind of cool. So, tell me what you think.